Hey everybody, this is Avalon from Crafts Direct, and in this video I will be showing you how to make this color block sign. I personally am obsessed with this project. I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I already know I'm going to be making a second one so that I can have one at home. So follow along and I will show you step by step how you can create this sign. To begin, you will cover the inside of the frame with painter's tape. You will want to go around all of the edges of the frame to cover it with painter's tape so that when you're painting you aren't getting any paint on the actual frame. About a third of the way up the sign, you will take your painter's tape and lay it across the whole entire sign. This is to divide your painting space. The lower one third area will be light pink and the top two thirds area will be a darker pink. Press firmly on all of the tape. You want to make sure there aren't any puckers or any space where the paint could accidentally seep through. And then after that, you will grab your acrylic paint. And first we will be using Pop Pink. This is the darker of the two colors. And we will use this to paint the top two thirds. When you are painting, make sure that your strokes are vertical. You should be going up and down with your strokes. And once you have first covered that top portion with the darker pink, you will then add a second coat. And it's really important that on this coat that you are evening out your paint. And I tried my best to do one large stroke starting at the top and ending at the bottom. This just helps everything look much smoother. Next, you will wait for your paint to dry. You don't want to be pulling any of that dark pink paint into that bottom one third that we're about to paint next. So once that's dry, you will then take your Think Pink and you will paint that bottom one-third. Next, you will go back again with the Think Pink and add a second coat. Again, to help with smoothness so you're not really seeing all of the brush strokes, it's best to go from bottom to top in one big stroke. Once the paint is completely dry, you will then begin to peel the painter's tape off. If you see some spots that need some touch-ups, you can go back and put a little paint over the spots that need it. Next, you will fill in the white space between the two colors and you will take the darker of the two pinks to fill that in and you will use the flat end of your foam brush to line it up with where the lighter pink color starts and luckily because you have dried paint there that also kind of acts as sort of a buffer between the two areas. So do this very slowly and carefully.
To help everything blend together, you are going to add another coat of that dark pink paint and you're going to use those same strokes that I was talking about, really big and from end to end. Once you finish with that coat, you then can make touch-ups where you need. Let your paint completely dry, and then you will take your really fun gold glitter stickers, and we are going to spell out Be Kind on our board. All of this will be left justified, and to start, we will start with the word B, and this will be on the darker pink colored side. And that line where the two colors meet, you can kind of use that as your guide to help make sure that your letters are straight. To start, just lightly lay down your stickers so that you can adjust them as needed. Take one of the sticker letters, I took the letter I, and cut out a small period to add at the end of kind. And then once everything looks as you want it, you will then press down on all of your stickers, helping to secure them to your sign. And then that's it, it is ready to be displayed. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can shop all the supplies to make this project at craftstrike.com slash projects.